uh, and I remember it because it was uh, Paris Day, uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. I uh, I, I, I had a little, little nap and uh, I not, what, went to the end of the bed and couldn't stand up. I knew and I knew then I had a stroke. I just knew that I'd had a stroke. I'd lost being in the right side of my body. Um, I phoned my neighbour. I then, of course, suddenly fell down the stairs um, uh, and ended up in hospital. And, and that really was, you know, I mean, I, I, I knew that I'd gone in hospital. I knew I had a stroke. Uh, but that was about all I remembered at that stage. And then, uh, obviously, I'd, I'd done some time at, in, the, in the main hospital at Darfur, and then came on to um, Mount Gold. I visit Merivale Ward to um, see patients um, that are hopefully going to transfer to the straight rehab unit um, to further their recovery. Um, I met Keith on Merivale Ward, um, and at that point, Keith was unable to walk. Um, also had complete loss of speech and so was unable to communicate with me apart from sort of nodding um, to the questions I was putting to him. Um, it wasn't really until I, I, I came into here that I started to, to, uh, to recall things and and get, and get things into perspective, um, but it, you know, it, there is a it's a it's a really good uh, facility. Um, tremendous number of people, a lot of people, a lot of people offering a lot of time, but um, you know the tr tremendous camaraderie amongst everybody here that makes the thing work, uh, and it's, it does feel generally like a family. Um, so from, from that point of view, very, very good. As Keith describes, has made a very good recovery and is still recovering. And hopefully will continue to cover with the, recover with the support of the um, stroke um, early supported discharge team when he goes home. As a clinician, I'm always looking for ways to improve patient experience and to see what's out there in the sort of big wide world. Um, and I came across the Bora Foundation. Um, so the Bora Foundation was set up by a gentleman by the name of Mark Bora, who had also um, experienced quite a significant stroke. Um, he was at the pinnacle of his career in the Special Armed Forces at the time and he set up um, the foundation with the view that um, outside of his therapies he could get extra stimulation um, through use of different items um, people had brought in for him such as pens and pads, notepads. I, I have never been so fatigued as I have since I've been a stroke but there's so much to do in there in, in the bag that it's something that you can do, there's lots you can do at home because when you get home there will be, you will find the time to do the creative things that, um, that, that are in there. Le you know, I can't use my left hand now so it's now all down to my right so fantastic set of, pet of, of pencils and colours and so on and so forth. There is something quite relaxing about it and it's not something I would have done before but um, it's an equally um, you know, a good thing um, to do and a good, good coordination. Um. I have now set up a referral system, an in-house referral system um, on Wembury Ward uh, and the acute straight unit, Merivale Ward and um, we can refer patients if they consent to obviously wanting a bag. We can order the bag and it can be delivered within 48 hours and then the bag is theirs to keep and take home with them at the end of their stay and obviously staff can um, you know work with 
with the patient and um, use the resources that are in the bag um, to provide extra stimulation during their stay and hopefully aid their recovery.